Good evening and welcome to my end of the week recap here for Apple and trade plan for next week. I took the note off of here, but I had uh, a note on here to take calls above this 197.90 area, which is exactly what I did here on Monday. I got in these 26 April 200 calls at 278 um, on this initial pullback. Very good fill. Didn't quite catch the open, but it's very hard to catch the very bottom of, a, of an opening move. Um, added on this uh, little bit of a flag move higher at 293 took my average up a little bit so I wasn't too worried about there now as price action went higher I did close them out here at 360 the remainder stopped me out at 345 now these little guys went a couple of dollars in the money had I held for two days that did not occur but anyways the trade worked out perfectly and uh, went on so Tuesday Apple got an upgrade and I actually took these 202 and a half calls um, <laughs> that's just a misprint or a typo I uh, got in almost immediately off the open at 124 on a much lower time frame maybe I'll show you on the five minute it's a little bit more evident here we go so I got in as price action dipped down and it ripped back up through the opening price that was my key to enter okay I was looking for it to continue I knew it was going to pull back and test either the VWAP or this 8 EMA on an upgrade tremendous volume on the open I was expecting a power trend day um, which means basically price action trends up the whole day <clears throat> so anyways it came up it pulled back I added here at 140 and on this other dip here took some off here at 165 took some off at 210 or excuse me at two dollars uh, took some off again up here as price action rolled back over on me again at two and finally trailed the rest of them out here 175 so left quite a bit on the table I think they hit like 240 250 um, as I said I thought it was going to be a, an overall uptrend day and at this point in the day right about there it looked like a bull flag to me it was going to continue so I was very loose with my stop and gave up quite a bit of gains on the last uh, last few contracts there so uh, it was worth the risk to me because I had all, already been very very green on the week for Apple and uh, worked out very nicely <clears throat> towards the end of the day had no idea we were going to sell off like that and it came down triggered my algo took me in some 18 April 200 calls right here at 310 and those stopped me out at 272 of course towards the end of the day I could have at least gotten out at break even but had to obey my rules broke the recent low and uh, it was time to get out um, Wednesday I don't think I touched out oh, at the end of the day yeah there was volume that came in I took these just as a lotto thought about holding them overnight but they were weekly so I got in here at 59 got out at 72 for a small little gain there worked out nicely Thursday did nothing today um, <laughs> came very close to calling the exact bottom now I took these weekly 197 half calls here at 40 immediately when it broke down I got out at 34 now I was also looking at the April 26 197 and a half calls here I had a bid in at 310 uh, they closed I believe 350 360 maybe even four dollars I think uh, but anyways they went almost two full dollars in the money some of the guys in the trade crew chat room uh, did take this trade for me <laughs> I wish I was in it with them uh, this is a perfect opportunity uh, what I would like to call a dip and rip uh, off of the 8 EMA which is one of my favorite setups to trade you can see on a 30 minute basis here beautiful green hammer with a uh, elevated volume just below the 8 EMA looks like it's going to continue higher um, I have the weekly time over here but let me zoom in a little bit to the day <clears throat> As you can see, price action did break the ADMA, which is obvious. Just came down and tested what was a prior breakout level, anywhere from 196.30 up to 197.80, roughly. Uh, could expect some buyers to come in, and this was a probably going to be a great opportunity for a swing as long as price action does not break Friday's low. Uh, going into next week, I will look to actually join that trader in these 197 and a half calls here for the end of the month if it does allow me. One thing to draw on this chart is basically this little trend line right here uh, that has now developed. If this breaks higher, that means this downtrend is nothing more than a pullback and a bull flag that's going to continue higher. Although it's not an ideal bull flag because there's not really a straight up pull. Um, but if you want to consider that a bull flag, there is a potential for another $12 move higher, which would take it up to about 210 to 12. Now, with that said, if I get a deep pullback, I will look for 195 calls here between the 21 and 200 SMA. Now, depending on where this 21 opens up, it's probably going to be around here. May separate those trades into two different ideas and trade off of this if it fails, take my stop. Trade off of this if it fails, take my stop. So, just a little thinking ahead there for Apple and down here at the 50 SMA, 182 and a half calls with four weeks of time. 
Now, the daily time frame for Apple is not as bullish algorithmically, uh, in my opinion, as SPY because the <clears throat> excuse me because the 50 SMA is still down here below the 200 SMA. But the 200 SMA you can see now is starting to curl up. You can also see it right here. It started to flatten out a few days ago. And ever since then, a couple days, a little bit at a time, it's higher, it's higher, it's higher, it's higher. So that bodes well for Apple stock. We'll see what happens going forward. Zooming out here to the monthly time frame. Again, just like the SPY, uh, month is green. Buyers are in control. We are coming into this prior resistance, this prior breakdown of 205.60-ish area. So we'll see what happens there. Weekly, buyers obviously still in control as well, although we do have a little bit of a topping tail. We come in into this uh, this battle bar, this battle week area from 210 to uh, 198. Now that 210 also, also coincides with this potential bull flag. If this starts to round up, I might even take these 197 and a half calls, maybe even 200 strike calls uh, for the end of the month above this level. I'm not gonna put that note on there, but just something I'm thinking about. And then to the daily time frame, it wasn't a green day, but uh, it's very productive. Buyers almost took back the open, and we'll see what happens going forward now. Just like E-mini futures in, imply, uh, SPY is going to go higher. Qs can kind of see that uh, maybe they're going to continue higher as well. I mean, just riding up the 8 EMA until there's a significant down move. I'm going to trade it as such. Now, we did have slightly elevated volume today on what could potentially be a hanging man type of candle, but... Overall market is still strong, in my opinion. We have a lot of earnings next week, too. Uh, a lot of financials, which have been carrying the market and probably going to continue to do so. Now, bears, just like I said in SPY, probably the best place to be shorting is between 185 and 187.5. But I would virtually guarantee anybody who is short this market, their stops are immediately going in above 187.5, maybe even 188. Again, algos and robots are going to see your orders up there, and they're going to hunt for that liquidity. Triple Qs is another one of these ETFs that is designed to go up and has successfully done so ever since its inception. So keep that in mind. If you're trying to pick a top in something that is designed to go up, I wish you the best of luck, but the odds are most likely not in your favor. All right, now with all that said, that's my trade plan for Apple and what I'm looking for going into next week. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. Have a good weekend and good luck on Monday.